Hey guys, it's your girl Leslie. Today we are reading it. <laughs> it started at the record store and record store and Pony Boy X Reader. Um, I already did. I already read chapter one, two, three, and four. We read four chapters total in two separate videos. So. Also, guys, I'm so happy. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I know it's not the best. I'm still working on it. Um, also, guys, like, it's kind of hard for me, so I'm, like, so sorry if my channel's... I'm still working on it. I might post some compilation of, you, of TikToks of people. Plus, I've getting... I've been, like... I got, like, one point... 3k hearts on tiktok and a lot of more fans so i'm like really happy i will put my tiktok my tiktok username down in the description if you would like to follow me oh before i warn you and you start reporting my stuff one i am a cosplayer two there will be gory things three i will not be i will not be like posting a lot but i will try there's a lot of videos or like 400 and something videos you can watch and, um, support, <laughs> support the channel, I guess. And obviously I have an Instagram, so I'll tell you my Instagram also. I do post some random things on there. I do follow a lot of people too, but, um, <clears throat> oopsie. Anyways, guys, I also found some, um, I found some Henry Bone Bower X reader. I found some it Pennywise X reader. If you want me to read that, to read those kinds of fan fictions, because I do have them right now. And uh, yeah, I, I will probably. I don't know how many chapters I'll be able to read. Um, I didn't cosplay today because I have a concert tomorrow. And if my mom videotapes it, I might be able to post. I just said I might. Um. Anyways, I do take try to take requests of what should I read. But like, guys, if you go back to my old videos of, for an example, Jeff the Killer love story, not expected. I did find that one, but I'm not gonna read it anymore because one, I, it's kind of really long to read it, and it doesn't give me really a lot of time to read it because it takes like 30 minutes just to read one chapter so i don't really have enough time for that also i get so many interruptions i don't think i'll be able to finish it also like it's just it's just really long and i read the whole book and it's really depressing so like i mean if i get like enough likes or and comments in the not expected i'll read one chapter each video and if you get lucky if i only read 10 minutes into one chapter i'll read another one to make it 20 or less if i'm lucky anyways there will be interruptions so i'm sorry it took like a lot of time to say this also guys just to let you know um I did not make this book, like, because I just, I keep forgetting to say that. I don't make fan fictions. I mean, I do, but, like, I never, I try to finish them, but I don't give it a lot of that, a lot of ideas. So, I'm making a spring chap X me, Leslie, X my sister-in-law, and we are like, when we met spring chapping, you know, like, I'm, I'm just going to give you, like, a baby cliffhanger on that because, like, Y'all go to Wattpad, y'all search that, and y'all find my book, I promise. Because I'm pretty sure there's no book that has my name on it. With my sister-in-law's name and Spring Chop at the same time. If there is, I'm just gonna do that right after this video, but whatever. Anyways, guys, there might be some languages, so don't get mad at me, okay? If there's languages on this. This time I will try to save all the old books, if I find them. I promise. Anyways. Chapter 5 Ponyboy laughs and glances at Tubit. We're just friends. Ponyboy guides me into the kitchen and hands me an apple. Soda pokes his head around the corner. How did you two meet? Soda asks. Soon Derry and Tubit were in the kitchen too. Wait, you are, you're, aren't you the girl from the rec record store? Tubit's 
to the <laughs> eyes widened. And then he crosses his arms and leans against the fridge. We met properly at school. Well, kinda. Pony Boy opens a, co a Coca Cola and offers me one, but I decline. Derry didn't say much. He just kind of stared at me, making me nervous. So, Leslie, how long? Well, sorry guys, Rose. I kind of made up a fake name for it, so sorry guys. I hate using my name, but I keep rem I keep like ugh. Anyways, so Rose, how long have you been working at the record record store? Darius suddenly asked. Since I was eleven, my parents own it. I tried to say as I laid back. I jumped as I hear as I hear the front door slam shut. And the sound of loud guy voices charging into the kitchen. There were a couple more guys that looked at me and then Pony Boy. Ooh, Pony Boy, who's this young broad? The taller guy asked. She is rather cute. Mind if we share her? <laughs> Says the guy with a large nose and a butter face. Steve, keep your new friends in check. Pony Boy says to a taller guy who smoked. Okay, that dude is Steve. So, little lady, what's your biggest regret in life? His big nose. Sorry, guys, it's just kind of funny, but to me, whatever. His big nose leans up against the counter next to me. I raise, I raise my eyebrow and felt a little irritated by him. Talking to you, I snap, and the big nose and the and the big nose guy quickly backs off. And his face was a bright red. <laughs> she told you, man. Steve laughs. Then he held some more of his can some more of his cancer sick. Cancer sick means cigarette, obviously. But Pony Boy takes out a cancer cigarette and glances up at Steve. Can I have a light? Can I have a lighter? Pony Boy asks Steve. I take out this. I take the cigarette out of Pony Boy's hands and shake my head. As I thought to Steve, I agreed with you. I agreed with Leslie. I mean, Rose, Pony Boy. And I ain't a good habit, Derry says. And I felt good being agreed with. Sorry, guys. They kind of made some bad mistakes, and it's kind of getting me really confused. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Also, it keeps reloading, so. I hate this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, continuing. Um, yeah, I guess. Pony Boy takes a sip of his Coca-Cola and guides me to his room. In his room was a wooden table by the window with books on it. Pony Boy tells me a story as he tells a story as he promised, and I felt my heart was I felt like my heart was crushed. Pony Boy got a bit teary. We sat there on the in the center of his bed in silence. His brown eyes had tears that just wanted to run down his face. Pony boy, it's alright to cry. It ain't a shame to it ain't a shame to cry. I take him into my embrace and as he runs <laughs> Oh my god. I had two oh my god, I think like I ate my whole Hershey's bar and I think I'm a little baby too excited. Uh, anyway, sorry guys, continuing. I take him into my embrace as he rested his head on my shoulder. I feel his breath come... I felt his breathing become faster, and I knew he was crying. He cried softly and quietly. But you could tell. You could still hear him sobbing. Unlike myself, I was silent as I held my breath when I cried. We all cry. Even those greasers out there must have cried too. For after about twenty minutes, I let him cry on my shoulder until we just hugged quietly. I hope you don't look, lose respect for me since I cried. Pony boy made me chuckle. It's just tears. I haven't lost any respect for you. I say as he lets go, and I notice his eyes were a little red. 
Johnny and Dallas must have meant a lot to Penny Boy. I'm honored that he told me his story. The story. And his guys continuing. <clears throat> Chapter six at home. I stared up at the ceiling, where replaying everything Pony Boy said. His words were so sad, and his the way his eyes looked looked at me when he said Dallas or when he said about when he talked about Dallas or Johnny. His eyes looked so broken, so sad. I rewinded our conversation and then started from the beginning. The beginning. <laughs> the beginning. Sorry, I said beginning, but whatever. The tears welled, that welled up in his eyes showed his pain. He seems like such a happy kid. Maybe he just puts on a smile so no one will worry. Pony boy, I wish you were more happy. A real kid of happy. Pony Boy was a sweet kid. He was gentle and kind, unlike his parents. Johnny was abused and his parents didn't really love him, but the gang but the gang did. We were his family. My lips quivered from Pony Boy's words. I can't relate to his experience at all, and that made me makes me kind of upset. I can't comfort my friend the correct way. All I can say is it's okay to cry. It's just tears. Okay, guys, we're going to read chapter... Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, guys. Uh, there was a advertisement, and I didn't want that to stop us. So, yeah, because, dude. <laughs> Anyways, chapter seven. On the Sunday afternoon, I was going to church. I was going to the church street with my mom to pick out a new prom dress. Prom was in three weeks. I didn't have a date. I was just going to hang out with Pony Boy and a couple of my girlfriends. We went into a dress shop and picked a couple of dresses. The first one, I didn't like it on me. It was pretty, just not on me. It was a long, wavy, strapless pink dress with a hint of violet when it hit the light. The second was a mini dress that, that was a cherry red and Hugged my body too tight. Third was the third one was a puffy blue dress with green lace straps. The fourth, the fur, the fourth was perfecto. It was a dark purple dress that ended mid length. It had a royal blue waistband and it flared out a little. Not to mention, it was on sale for only 35 bucks. I got that dress and the black tints with black flats to wear with it. After buying it, my mom and I walked home in silence. So are you going with Pony Boy? She caught me off guard and my heart fluttered at the thought of it. I can feel my face heating up and quickly look down at my shoes. I wasn't planning on it. I was just going to hang out with him and a couple of other friends. I try to play it cool. My mom exhales, then looks at me. I don't understand why you continue to not date or at least mingle. Mom shrugs, then continues. You did date Caden for two years. Why can't you try someone else with someone else? My, ch my chest hurt when she mentioned Caden. It's like my heart fell into an abyss and couldn't get out. Cannon went to my old school. He was awfully sweet, and I loved him very much, but my parents wanted to move to Tulsa to be closer to the to family. I'm just having fun. Dating is rough. I'm just having fun. Dating is rough, and I'm not ready for it. I roll my eyes, feeling my blood boil a bit in anger. Caden, my mom loved him. So did Dad. But I mean, I'm over him. Your dad doesn't mind that. I mean, your father doesn't mind that. Mom chuckles as we walk inside, and I feel so embarrassed. Three weeks later. I was excited to hang out with Pony Boy and, the, uh, and other people tonight. I'm sitting outside in my dress, waiting for Pony Boy. The girls had... Dates, of course, unlike me. Pony Boy wa walked up the road. He had a clean blue 
plaid shirt on and clean blue with clean blue jeans and dress shoes. I had a dress I had on my dress with on <laughs> Oh my god, this is confusing me. Sorry guys. I had my dress on with my hair down and a bit of makeup, but not too much. Puna boy glances at me and he reaches the door as he reaches the door. And he smiles. You look you look very pretty, Miss Rose. Put a boy comments and I give him a crooked smile. You look mighty nice yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I read three freaking chapters. Hoo-wee! That's a lot. But I will try to uh, post more, but it's kind of going to be hard. Really hard. Just really. Plus, I kind of had a sucky day because, like, you know, those dumb people and the rudest people ever in school. Like, dude. So, um, short story time. So, I was at, I was in third hour. At, I was at school in third hour. That means we were at, like, nine, nine to... 9 to 9.55 because we had team time. And I went to the bathroom. We're not going into specifics for your nas- for the other nasties. But anyways. There were like literally papers like in the sink. And I was like, whoa. So I was going to wash my hands and dry them off outside, you know. Because like I'm not going to do it like that, dude. And then these girls walk in like. They're from my gym. I'm in gym in third hour, and I absolutely hate it. I'm going to probably move classes because of how much I hate that class. Anyways, um, then they, well, I heard them whispering about how disgusting I am. Like, girl, I'm not the one who did that. I might be wearing red lipstick, and I might have to stand on my hands and accidentally touch the paper on accident. Like... I was washing my hands and I, I might, like, because I was wearing a red lipstick, I might have accidentally touched my lips on, on accident and then just, like, accidentally, like, you know, just wiped it on something when I didn't mean to. Like, those girls called me disgusting. And they accused me of not working out. Like, dude, they don't even work out. I'm not going to give out names because I'm not, I'm not that ruthless. But still, like, dude, I do not like these girls. Like, Dude, they bully so many people. Like, girl, you don't even, number one, you don't even work out. Number two, like, do you think I give two craps of what you think? And number three, girl, like, you're the only one who's lazy. Like, <laughs> like I'm the only one who's lazy. Sweetheart, almost everyone in this school can be lazy. Every single, I can bet you, every single one in, in, in the middle school I am at is lazy, exactly like me. And I'm, like, so confused and angered by her. Like, excuse me? Like, says the one who looks like freaking the lion, the version of Lion King who hasn't washed his hair in probably 10,000 years. Her hair is literally out of place. Dude, her hair is, like, so lion. Like, it looks like... She just spray, like put hairspray in it and that's it. Not brush it down or anything. It's just freaking, you know what I mean? But like, if she fires at me, I fire at her. Like, dude, it's just like messed up. And dude, let's be honest. I am weird. Look how many times I messed up on these chapters. And look, I am weird and I like that. But dude, it's whenever someone just gets me so mad. I'm like... You know what? How about you go go back under your rock, okay? Just go the heck back. It like gets me really mad, so I'm like, ugh. It's better to like talk it and just forget about it, you know, move on. I swear, that girl messes messes with me one more time. I'm telling, I'm just straight up, just telling the principal I ain't dealing with her. Like seriously, she wants to pick fights after school. Like, girl, I'm classy. I don't do that. I have to do stuff. That's more important than you will ever be. Like, I think you have less important things to do, but I have more important things than you will ever have. Like, number one, getting A's. Two, 
have tutoring, three, have, like, I have recordings and, like, things to do, too. I have to record for you guys. I have to record cosplays. I have to go to tutoring. I have to practice in my band. I have to, um, oh, like, I have to, like, always go on, you know, just, like, little breaks, you know, because, you know, and I always have to sleep, you know, at ten. it's, like, it's, like, and I always have to, like, do things, because, like, I don't just go home immediately. I have to either stay at my mom's job or my dad's job for an hour or something, because, like, dude, do you know how hard it is? Like, this girl can't even judge me. Like, what the heck? Like, it just gets me mad. Like, can y'all relate? Comment down below if you can relate to this, because, like, like, I know I'm not the only one who's suffering from this. Like, honestly, she's a total freaking... She's just really, really, really heartless. Like, okay, dude, I'm not going to personal subjects because I heard her parents died. And honestly, like, her grandparents are taking care of her. How... Do they even know that she picks fights? Like, dude, I ain't disrespecting her family or nothing, but still, girl... You gotta learn how to, like, not do that. Like, because if you're having some issues and you need someone to talk to, talk to someone you trust. And, like, will always count out and won't, like, hit, like, stab you behind your back, you know. But, like, don't come raining fire because it won't make you feel any better. It should make you feel worse, you know. Like... Honestly, I just hope she gets the karma she deserves and then just get some help or something. Because, like, that, this is not working. Like, dude, I will tell you another story time um, later. Also, the reason I'm not showing my face is because I'm, it's night and I'm just, like, in my night clothes and being lazy here. So, oh, also, the reason I'm showing you know, reading to you like this is because, guys, if I'm slow or, like, you can't hear me read, you could just easily just read from the radio and just do this because I scroll very slowly. So you guys can just read along while you're listening to my voice, sadly. But, you know, anyways. So, guys, that was, like, medium-sized story time. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, anyways, guys, uh, hit the notification button. <laughs> hit the bell because that's the notification bell you know to get notifications for me but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video bye and peace you know,